I'm working on a 2020 Kia Sportage and I'll show you guys what is going on in this car. Just gonna go start the car and got all kind of stuff going on here. Check blind spot collusion warning system. Um, check smart cruise control system and all the lights are on check forward collusion TPMS who name it <laughs> it's gonna be a long day for me First thing I did earlier is take this vehicle for a test drive. I drove it for like five miles and I don't see any like drivability issue, but all those lights are on. And right now I'm doing a, a system full scan. Okay guys, so I do have a list of active code here, which is involved the ABS system four wheel drive, wheel speed error in communication, smart cruise control, alignment failed. Oh, the TPMS uh, vehicle speed sensor. And I also have a pending. And I do have a lot of history codes here. <laughs> there is um, cluster invalid display speed, um, wheel speed sensor, Invalid, no signal. Um, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them here. Oh, definitely it's going to be a long day for me. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, so this vehicle equipped with ADAS system. And my experience that ADAS need to talk to other module to make it works so basically they talking to each other so um you know if you if you press this cruise control and there is a um multi-function camera here there is a smart cruise control in the front and what they do is pretty much like you know they can stop the vehicle they can maintain your speed, they can slow down your vehicle. And in order for that to make it happen, um, that smart cruise control sensor need to talk to multi-function camera and basically they talking to each other to make that features happen. And that's what's going on. But if one of them failed, it's gonna cost you all kind of issue. That's my understanding and that's my experience. And uh, if you also notice how many speed sensor involved, there's a lot of them. There's a four here, which is active. And let's go to the history. Um, there's cluster invalid display speed. There's another speed sensor there. Um, invalid display speed. What else? Um, signal from BSD. Oh, okay. So now what I'm thinking is one of these wheel speed sensors causing all this issue right here. And I can start digging with, let's go to the current one. Oh, we have both of them active on the left hand and the right hand. So let's check them out. All right guys, so I'm still talking to the computer and this is all my wheel speed sensor. It's right there. All of them are zero right now because they're not moving. Okay, this is the driver's side. So if I move this by hand, that passenger side also move that means I uh, should I should get some signal here so I'm just gonna move it with my foot right now 
tried to film it at the same time. There we go. So I'm getting signal from the other sensor. I'm not on the left front, which is this one. This guy right here. But I am getting signal on the passenger side. There we go. Okay guys, just to check my rear sensor here. Okay, there you go. We're getting some signal. And the passenger side. Okay, there you go. We also get signal. With well, that being said, I'm going to focus on this wheel speed sensor. Alright guys, so that's my wheel speed sensor connector. And if you notice, there is a white wire there. And according to the schematic, I should get some ground there. That's my signal wire that's supposed to be grounded from the AIDS ECU. So let's go ahead and check for ground over there. Okay guys, so I do have my back probe up there and I'm gonna go use my power probe. If I do have a good ground, I should see that, okay? All right, let's try it. Oops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so obviously I don't have power here or ground schematic says I supposed to have ground here from HECU but obviously I don't hmm should I have it open we'll find out okay guys so I decided to check the passenger side too the red wire right there is supposed to be a signal coming from HECU and it's supposed to be grounded right now but let's go ahead and check it out. Same thing, I'm using my power probe and here we go. All right, so that guy is supposed to be grounded now. Come on, there, there we go. All right, so I'm getting ground there. Okay. Okay guys, so we're back to the driver's side and we verify that we're not getting ground from the HECU in this side, but on the passenger side, I'm getting a solid ground. Okay guys, so what now? Am I gonna condemn that HECU for not giving a signal to my wheel speed sensor or maybe I do have an open circuit somewhere let's find out what I decided here is I'm going to borrow signal from the passenger side all the way here to my driver's side using my um, long cable using my magnetic Test lead. Okay guys, so we're back in the current data. So earlier when I spin these tires and we got only signal from the passenger side, we don't get signal from the right side. So since I'm all like connected all the way there, so I should get signal from this tire as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm just gonna go spin the tire as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so we're getting signal by borrowing signal from the other sensor right there. Sweet. So now, so now what I can tell is I do have a good wheel speed sensor. I might have some open circuits somewhere or the AIDS ECU is fault. Okay, guys, I'm back inside the car i'm pretty excited right now 
I, do, I just want to see if that wheel speed sensor issue will fix the other problem here. Now I'm just going to start the car. Holy cows. <laughs> Some of them are gone. I still have that TPMS doll. And I still have this. Let's scan it. Okay guys, so I scanned the full system and I still have two more active codes here, which is the smart cruise control alignment failed and the TPMS vehicle speed sensor. Hmm, not sure about that though, but I think I created this when I spin, this, I spin the tire earlier. So, and we have some pending too, or history. And I do have a lot of history here. Let's, let's delete everything here. Okay, so after deleting all the code, I don't have that TPMS um, low lights on, but I still have that alignment issue. And yep, it's still active. And yeah, that's, that's, that's the only problem we have right now. But we're not done yet though. We're just, we're just faking the system right now. Okay, another thing I noticed guys, check this out. Seems like the car recently got painted and my service advisor never told me about that. <laughs> All right, so I'll go talk to him and give him a hard time for not telling me about this. <laughs> okay guys, so it's confirmed. Um, after I talked to my service advisor, um, the customer sent us a picture and the accident happened right here. So I bet there's a wire right there, pinned or cut because of the accident. Let's check it out. All right guys, so I removed the tires and the fender liner and check what I found. Um, where are you? Okay. Where are you? It's right there. That's right there, guys. Oops, hold on. I want to give you guys a better view. Okay, oops, that's not an option. Okay. See that wires right there, the white one? It's cut, <laughs> which is the wire signal up there. <laughs> right here and causing all the issue, right there. Let me focus this one, there we go. It's a cut wire, open circuit, verified. Hey guys, so there's actually two of them. The uh, white one and also the pink one. I'm not sure what the pink one does though, but I'll go ahead and fix this too. Okay. Okay guys, so the wire repair is complete, secured. What I'm gonna do now is put it all back together and we'll see where we at. Okay, so I put everything back together, torque it and spec. Everything is looking good right now. All right, let's go jump in the car. Okay guys, so we're back inside the car and we still have some issue on the smart cruise control module. Uh, what I believe is, I'm not sure if they replace the smart uh, cruise control module or they move it somewhere. I mean, uh, remove and install it and if you do that, you have to do the alignment procedure. So let's go ahead and do that using the scanner. Okay, so I'm in software management right now and we're gonna go select the advanced, oh well, yeah, advanced smart cruise control and select the radar sensor alignment.
Okay, the computer will do his thing. <laughs> Okay, so all I have to do is select OK. There is an option here which is C1, I believe it stands for uh, stop mode, but let's do C2. <laughs> C2 is a lot easier. Then review all the requirement needs, then press OK. OK, now it's doing it. OK, let's take this car for a test drive. Hey guys, I'm still driving and those lights are still on. Um, in order for me to get rid of this light, I have to um running the vehicle for at least 40 miles per hour so the system will start doing its thing so yep so i'm still driving and guess what no more light <laughs> also guys my uh, cruise control is working now okay guys i made it back to the shop and my instrument cluster is looking nice right now. <laughs> I am glad. And I think I'm done. Um, the only thing I would like to do after a long test drive. Oh, I got airbag lights on because I'm scanning. I would like to do a, a perform a full system scan. So when the customer pick it up, um, um, no surprises at all. So now the airbag light is off because the scanner is no longer in that area. Okay guys, so the full system scan is done. And as you can see, no current DTC detected, which is good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm done in this car. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video or at least learn something because I did. <laughs> This is the first time I dealt with the wheel speed sensor will cause all kind of ADAS problem. There's HECU control module, no communication. There's a TPMS, a smart cruise control. Uh, there's also a four wheel drive module, um, no communication as well. So there's a lot of stuff um, happening when one of your speed sensor maybe going out or you have an open circuit but yeah all right thank you guys for watching have a great day bye